so thanks for clicking on the video. As you can probably tell, I'm not in my local woodland in the UK. In fact, I'm in northern Thailand, right on the border with Laos. So join me today on this four, to maybe five hour jungle hike. We're going to hopefully identify some wild resources, uh, maybe do some fire lighting. Uh, who knows? Let's see what happens. We might even see an elephant. Fingers crossed we don't, but there's a chance because there are elephants right here. So follow the journey. Let's go. So this part of Thailand is very remote. In fact, there's just locals here. I haven't yet seen another Westerner. Apart from the Westerner, my friend Rich, who I'll introduce you to, he's kindly, ta he's kindly taken us on board for, the, for a couple of days. And as he's lived here 13 years, he's gonna be showing us around and uh, showing us his way of life. So yeah, I really enjoy, I'm really gonna enjoy this. Really excited to get out and see his world and to see him practicing his primitive skills. So this is Galangao and it's part of the ginger family. So what's going on here is that we've come across a weaver ant nest. We're now gonna take it down to the water, try and wash away those ants to reveal the eggs. So it turns out those eggs were a bit small. What we're after are the queen eggs. What are we gonna do with them? Well, we're gonna eat them, of course. It's just what you want on a hot day. So as you can probably imagine, this is dry season, but in the wet season, this is, this is a huge river that flows down here. And evidence for that is that there's freshwater crab shells. There's the shell, there's the claw. And then there's also these freshwater snails or winkles of some sort.
So that bracket fungus is actually a great tinder for fire lighting. I've put a piece on my bag, we'll hopefully try a bit when we get to our final destination, which could be about halfway along this adventurous expedition in the Thai jungle in the north of Thailand. So one thing we're trying to avoid, well in fact four things we're trying to avoid, snakes, lizards, scorpions, oh weaver ants, okay maybe five, and elephants. Yes, this is a national park, there are elephants, but I've been told the elephants are not in this area because it's the dry season, they're elsewhere. Fingers crossed we don't see one, because if we see one we're in trouble. And we've been told that if we see one, very similar to when you see a bear, stand still, no sudden movements, don't run, Hopefully they won't see you as a threat and that way we hopefully won't get trampled. So Rich here has just collected some cordylime palm leaf which is great for cordage making. Once again when we get to our destination about halfway we're going to hopefully see a nice little demo in cordage making. So we're actually heading along this dried riverbed further up to where, to where there's a bit of a valley. That valley I've been told there's a small waterfall, it is dry season, there won't be much water but there might be a trickle of water and then eventually head up onto that ridge, follow that dr uh, dry ridge all along, and we're gonna drop down. This trek takes about four or five hours. These here, I've been told are black ants, well, the nests from black ants, but it doesn't look like anyone's home, so no threat, we'll move on. It's very dry, it's very hot. We've got plenty of water, we've got some food. We've already collected a few wild edibles. Rich has collected some nice dried firewood. Well, firewood, more like friction fire materials. So we can have a go at a bit of friction fire lighting. But just look at it, isn't that incredible? This is a wilderness that I'm not that familiar with, although I have been to this part of the world several times before. But it really is stunning. So back in the UK, I like to think that I know quite a few of nature's resources. Whereas over here, on the other side of the world, I'm not that familiar with many things. So this is why Rich, I'll introduce you to him shortly. He lives here. He likes to practice a bit of wilderness survival. He knows lots of wild resources. So on this video, we'll be looking at those resources and enjoying the adventure together. So it's mid-afternoon now, the sun's quite high and it's very hot and very dry, but what we really need to do is get out of the sun up into the shade. But what I've just come across on this dried riverbed is a dried, sorry, what looks like the carcass of a dried millipede, made up of all these segments. 
Well, we found some shade, so it's time for a bit of lunch and a bit more water. So these are the seeds that we collected earlier by the roadside, they're called magatin. And actually, I had some earlier, they're really tasty. Mm. Not unpleasant at all. Really nice. Very similar to, I'd say green peas. So this is the leaf from the pandan plant and as you just saw there Rich was scraping away the outer layer, the green layer, to reveal the inner fibres. Those inner fibres are what we're after and these are fibres that have been extracted from the leaf and just dried for a few minutes in the sun and already they've gone really dry. We're now going to use this for friction fire lighting. You've probably seen on my channel in the past I've done something called the fire roll. Well wait and see, I'm sure, I'm sure Rich will give you a quick demo. I'm going to try something different here. What we've done, we've married these two together. So they're both flat. We've got this fine dust off the sandstone. Never tried it before, but we'll see if it will work as an accelerant for a fire roll. Let's get it on that. Plenty on. So just by rubbing these two rocks together, you can see there's lots of very fine dust. This dust is what you want in that ball of compressed fibers. The fibers being these fibers right here. And as you can see, Rich has sprinkled fibers all along it. He's now gonna roll it up into a very tight, dense ball of fibrous powdered rock. And the trick then is to place the ball of fibrous uh, material between two rocks and roll it really fast. The friction, the heat generated from the friction will hopefully, fingers crossed, create an ember. And what we'll see eventually is a very small bit of smoke coming off that dense cotton, well, dense fibrous ball, which will then be our, our the beginning of our fire. And there we have it, the fire roll. You got it. And there we have it, fire by friction on the fly, pandan leaf. Using the pandan leaf, the fibres from the pandan leaf on this dried riverbed, mid-afternoon, northern Thailand, it's very hot, sitting near this fire is even hotter, so I think we should put it out and move on. That was great, well done.
So we're now climbing to try and get to the top of that ridge, which is over there, but we need to swing round because the cliff face on that side is way too steep. So we're just going up here to get to the ridge. It's really hot. I'll have to stop for a drink in a second. Rich is up front with the parang, slicing away, clearing the path. And what we've just come across is elephant dung. Wow. Let's hope we don't come close to any, because that could be very dangerous. and more. <laughs> How was that? I told him to be a bit of a jungle thrashing and uh, you might get a bit worried, but here we are. All right, so it looks like we've made it up to that, to the ledge or the ridge. Well, it was, uh, it was quite dense going through that. Got cut up on my arms quite a few times. Camilla started to get a bit scared. She thought she heard noises. But to be honest with you, I don't blame her. Because the last thing we want to come across when we're up here is an elephant. We don't want to scare an elephant because I can imagine they'll be quite territorial. They'll probably charge, pin us down. And that'll be the end of it until someone finds this video. Baby elephant dung. We better get out of here. Right, so we're going through another dense bit of bamboo, but we think the ledge or the ridge that we want to get to is just over there. And here we are, final climb up to the ridge.
So the next plan is to head down to this waterfall. Remember, it's dry season at the moment, so there isn't much water. And I might, I might just jump in. Well, we made it down, and as I was just saying, there isn't much water, but there is this, and there's quite a few fish in here. I don't know what fish they are. I would normally have a fishing, a travel fishing rod set with me, because if there's ever an opportunity for me to be able to try and catch a fish, I'll be there and I'll take full advantage of it. But today, I left it at home. Why? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, I think I might jump in. Well, that was good fun. Now it's time to move on. So that's about it. That's the end of our hike. It's been about four, maybe what, five hours today? Yeah. Five hours, two liters of water each, maybe two and a half liters of water each. We've had some food, had a nice little dip at the end there just to cool off because it was getting pretty hot and sweaty. But I just want to say a big, big thank you to Rich here. Some of you might actually recognize him. If you do, comment below where, in fact, don't bother because I'll tell you right now, this is, well, this is the hog roast guy um, from the bushcraft show. He's also really passionate about primitive skills, especially fire lighting. You name a technique and he'll do it. So a big thanks to Rich here. Also, I'll put his links to his YouTube channel, Word the Smoke, um, to his Instagram and his YouTube channel. I'll put them below. I'll just flash them up here on the screen as well. And again, also a big thanks to Camilla for uh, coming along for the journey and supporting me. Lost in the jungle. <laughs> Lost in the jungle. She did panic a bit because we did hear a few we worked it a out. few loud noises. So we thought good. maybe yeah. there could have been elephants, but we were pretty sure because it's dry season, there would have been somewhere else in the jungle. Um, but yeah, so thanks again for watching the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Expect a few more Thailandy jungly style videos to come. Thanks again. See you in the next one. Goodbye.